Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the um, program choice for Northwest Cabarrus High School Academy of Health Sciences. We are going to get started in just a minute, but I wanted you guys to be aware of that. Thanks for joining us today. Just hold tight for just maybe a few more seconds, uh, waiting for one more guest to show up and then we'll be ready to go. All right, well, we're, we're at 12.01, so I want to be conscious of everybody's time. We'll get started and uh, we'll kind of flip flop it from our end if our special guest shows up. Um, this is Northwest Cabarrus High School. My name is Robert Machado. I'm the Academy Coordinator for the Academy of Health Sciences here at Northwest. Uh, this is my first year as Academy Coordinator at Northwest Cabarrus, but I have been Academy Coordinator for our Academy of Hospitality and Tourism at Hickory Ridge High School. So I've been doing this for a long time. This is a little bit of a different theme change for me this year. I'm in the building now and I'm talking to you eighth graders that will hopefully be in the building for next year as well. Like I said, we do have an Academy of Health Sciences and it is an amazing academy. So our academy is brought to you through uh, National Academy Foundation, which is NAF. So they provide us with third party curriculum and all the stuff that you guys do. And we'll go through the curriculum in just a minute. But uh, one of the big things and one of the most things that I'm proud of to be a part of is we're now in this distinguished academy, uh, which means we've hit a lot of different thresholds as far as kids that did internships, the, the coursework of study, uh, our advisory board, all these things that we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. And there's only like about 10% of all the academies in the country hit the distinguished mark. So that's a huge, huge gold star for us and uh, something that we're really, really excited and proud of. So um, we'll just kind of go through this PowerPoint with you a little bit, explain some of what the academy looks like and maybe what you'll be doing over the next four years if you choose to be with us. Let me just get my little mouse there. All right, this is just a couple of pictures of some things we do. Um, because we're an academy and because we do project-based learning, a lot of things that we do are hands-on, right? So we're spending a lot of the time, not only in the classroom, but also out in the industry with um, healthcare professionals trying to visit as many places as we can. You see some things uh, from um, dentistry all the way to um, field trips to places where they do rehab, uh, all these opportunities for you to kind of be a hands-on. So the big thing about most of our academies are they are hands-on learning. It's project-based learning where you're going to work in groups, you're going to work to communicate together, you're going to be uh, working in teams and have to build those relationships with your students. That's why being together in this academy is really, really, really important because of the, um, the opportunity to build those close relationships. So let's get right into what does it look like for you, okay? Your ninth grade, no, guys understand we have a four by four block schedule in high school. It means you take four classes first semester and four classes second semester. Uh, so for eight total classes for the year. Well, everybody has to take English, science, social studies and math and freshmen, you have to take a health and PE class. So that's five of the eight that you've already selected for you before you even get started. Um, so one of the classes that you take or every class uh, freshmen take for us in the academy is going to be the foundations of health science. And then you have two opportunities to take whatever you want. We have great extracurricular, um, uh, not extracurricular, but we have great other programs, whether it's band or chorus, automotive, um, CTE coursework, foreign language. There's a, there's a multitude of things you can take as a freshman, um, but it, it, everybody starts with that foundation of what health sciences really is. And then your 10th grade, we take two courseworks for the academy, one being health sciences one, and the other one's project, uh, PLTW means project lead the way. And again, that's just a third party vendor 
and they talk a little bit about what that looks like. You do biomedical science. Your junior year, same idea. You're in health sciences too, and you move into PLT human bodies. And then your senior year, um, you can do lots of different things. We got uh, you got AP coursework. You can do nursing fundamentals off campus. You can take uh, online courses, um, career and career and promise ready courses through the um, community community college platform. Sorry. I'm having struggles here today. And then PLTW metal inter intervention. So those are, that's really your curriculum as you go through it. So this is for anybody that's interested in healthcare uh, in any form. Uh, there's lots of different jobs, obviously, you can do with, with um, in which direction you want to go into. We want to build a good base of knowledge of what you guys are capable uh, of understanding and then move into that. And the curriculum gets obviously harder and harder as you go. And our goal is to get you ready to whatever you want to do. Some of you may go right into the workforce. Some of you may go off to a college. Some of you may go all the way through medical school, uh, but this is a good opportunity for you to kind of get an understanding of what it looks like and what it is. Um, some of our partners, let's talk a little bit about that. So advisory boards is a huge part of what um, we do with NAF and NAF again stands for National Academy Foundation. They're the ones that provide us with our curriculum and they're the ones that will certify you guys as students throughout your four years. But as you can see, we have a lot of universities on the screen. Have a lot of partnerships with local universities, as well as uh, the Cabarrus Health Alliance and uh, some some other you know partners in the healthcare industry. So, what do they do for you, right? So, what what does that mean to you? Well, they sit down with us as as the as the teachers and the directors, and they talk about what is the direction of healthcare going in? What does it look like today and where can it be tomorrow? Uh, we've already seen huge differences in healthcare, right, already because of the virus. A lot of people are doing this sort of thing. They're talking to their doctors online. Um, and, you know, so what does the next step of, of medicine look like? And what will it look like for you guys in, in four years once you graduate high school and even beyond that in the collegiate world? Um, but so a lot of our partners, they also help with the curriculum. They they are also great resources. So we use them as mentors, internships. We haven't even talked about that. We will in just a few minutes. Um, they help us with the internship piece of it, and they also help with site visits. So a lot of times once we get back in the building and, and things get back to normal just a little bit, we'll have the opportunity to go visit some of our partners and see what they do on a daily basis. So that'll be a really exciting time for everybody as well. Like I talked about, social events are important um, because we do want you guys to feel like you're a school inside of a school. Northwest Cabarrus has a lot of great things to offer and there's a lot of opportunity that every student's going to get, but you get a little bit different flavor of that, right? So you're going to have an opportunity to be in a little bit um, more specific classes with people that are like minded like you are that want to go into the healthcare field that want to be a part of that and and make a difference in people's lives. But one of the way we do that is through social events, right? So we want to have fun too. The academy is not just all about learning, but it is about developing you at, to be good adults, good work, um, good workers in the workplace. So um, you have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to articulate. You have to be able to present and speak and do all those things that we do. And some of that happens through, um, you know, classwork and, and pr presentations. But some of it also happens just in a natural setting with your with your friends hanging out. We try to have you guys as around, your mother, around each other as much as possible because you need to be able to trust that person, right? So if you're doing a lab with them or you're doing some kind of project with them, you need to know who they are, what kind of work ethic they have. Do you guys, you know, you're not always going to get along with everybody, but you do need to know how to work with everybody. So we do a lot of these things to hopefully help that. Community service, man, um, that's a big thing too, right? We hopefully you're probably going to live in the community in which you work. Uh, we also live in the community in which we go to school. And that's really important that we spend time with those community members and help them, whether it's uh, a blood drive or whether it's, you know, tots for toys or or a million things, wrapping presents for kids that are less fortunate. There's a lot of opportunities for us to give back. And I need you to understand, like, these academies aren't built just for you to get content, but it's also for you to become better people and understand that the world's bigger than just who we are. So we do things like community service to help through those things, to get you some opportunities. It's also a really great way for you to build that, um, that verbal uh, skill, like being able to talk to people you may not know or not feel comfortable with. So it's the opportunity to get out there and uh, just kind of see the world as it goes. Um, I do want to put a couple things from the recruitment standpoint and what that looks like. 
Uh, middle school visits are right now. We know that applications open October the 6th and they go through December the 18th and then sometime in February you'll you'll kind of get that. So if you've heard some things today or you want to know more information, um, obviously we have a program choice fair night October the 6th uh, and that'll be virtual because everything's virtual at the moment and then the open house at um, at Northwest Cabarrus will be the October 28th. So we're going to we also have a STEM program. So some of you that are familiar with Northwest know we have STEM and we have the Academy of Health Sciences. So we're both going to be that night. So if you want to stop by and do both of those, that's great. So STEM will start from five to six and the Academy will be from six to seven. So that advisory board we talked about a few minutes ago also gives us the opportunity to um, to do internships, right? So a lot of students, most students aren't going to do an internship in high school, right? That's not going to happen until usually you're in college. So the cool thing about being in these academies as well is most of you guys will have an opportunity to sit down with real people in the industry that can use them as a mentorship. You can ask them questions. You can do any of those things uh, and then be in their business and be a part of it and see if it's really something you want to, to know. Um, I can't go through every little thing in 30 30 minutes, but if you do on our website and under Northwest Cabarrus High School, you'll see a NAF Academy uh, icon. If you click that, you can get all this information. There's some questions on there that typically people ask, and I'll go through some of those if time permits towards the end, but I just want you guys to be familiar with our website. All that stuff's on there. You can send your parents to it. Uh, this is really for you guys as students. The October 6th date will be more for you guys and your parents, so please let them know and there'll be stuff coming out from the county, but invite them out. If there's anything that they've heard about our academy or any of our academies or STEM or IB, let them be aware of that so they can they can know. And then the real big one will be the October 28th day. And that'll be specific to Northwest Cabarrus. We'll have a lot of people in there, a lot of guest speakers. You can ask questions, probably talk to some of our students. That'll be a really great opportunity for you to see that happen. All right. Oh, um, your special guest is here if you'd like to. I know you can't see because you're sharing your screen, but if, if you'd like to introduce Mr. Myers, he has joined us. Oh, fantastic. All right. Yeah, at this, that's a great transition time because I'm kind of done with the PowerPoint piece. So we'll bring it over to Mr. Myers. He is the principal at Northwest Cabarrus. Thank you, Mr. Machado. You, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. All right, very good. I'm I'm having some uh some technical difficulties, like I sure like I'm sure a lot of us have been having during this uh this time of pandemic. But um, you know, just just super excited, uh, you know, about the possibilities about students, um, rising ninth graders coming, you know, and becoming becoming a Trojan, whether they are coming as did you guys lose me? Whether they are coming from, you know, being a Titan um, or or anywhere for that matter, just super excited about you guys jo joining Trojan Nation and all the possibilities that we have. Um, super excited about the fact that we are we are the only high school that offers two academies. Mr. Machado had mentioned obviously the Academy of Health Sciences, but also that STEM offering as well. So um, just can't wait to meet folks um, in person as opposed to this virtual model that we are all living in right now. Saw some great pictures. Uh, couldn't help but smile as Mr. Machado was going through that presentation, just seeing all that interaction with our students uh, and, and wistfully, uh, you know, longing for that and can't wait to see that again because that really is a microcosm of what Northwest is, of what the Academy is, um, and just that opportunity for students, your students to get together, um, be with other like-minded students and really have that, that fellowship opportunity, that camaraderie. Um, that they're going to experience as part of a team um, throughout four years. So they'll have that Trojan Nation team, but also within that, that community of the Academy as well. So again, welcome to Northwest and, and just excited about the possibilities and, and hope hopefully you'll be, um, you know, you'll be walking through the door someday with us in person and we're super excited about that. Coach, I think think you're muted there. Man, the only no, mess up of the day. Here we go. Yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Myers. I appreciate that. Northwest Cabarrus, like I said, guys, this is my first year here, but I've been in this county for a long time. I've always uh, appreciated Northwest. I think it's a, a great place. I'm excited to work there. I'm excited to work with the next group of people that go through this academy. And some of you in this meeting may be those 
that section. So uh, I'll just kind of open it up. I, we have people that can see the chat. I can't obviously see that as we speak, but are there any questions I can answer specifically? And I've got some other things to add as well. I think uh, again, you you explained this already a little bit with the courses, but sometimes the students have a lot of questions about um, the how they take these courses alongside traditional pathway courses. Yeah, what that looks like. Sure. sure, awesome. Yeah, so um, so like I said, that that freshman year that you guys have, you know, every student in school is going to take English, science, social studies, and math. So those four are basically going to be the same each year. It just depends on which level you take and all that. So some of our students that come in the academy may be in math one, may some others may be in honors math one, some may come in math two. Um, so we don't, you know, those courses are open to all students. So just because you're in the academy doesn't mean those are the only students you'll be with all day either. We do keep your academy classes together and then we try to keep academy um, students in some things like English. You might have a lot of academy students in your English course, but maybe not in your science, maybe not in your math. Um, so you are taking a traditional course of study through your high school that every student has to take along with these core classes for our academy. What makes you different than everybody else is other students won't be able to take the Project Lead the Way course. Other students aren't going to be able to take some of those NAF courses that you, that you guys have. So the Project Lead the Way is specific to our academy, although like a, a Fundamentals of Health Science or Health Sciences 1, Health Sciences 2, um, those things anybody can take, but what we'll what we will try to do is keep you guys together because the point is that you are cohorted, that you guys get to know each other, that you work together well, that you start building those relationships that you can count on across the four years. So yeah, all students will will take the same coursework as far as your your common core, your big four: English, science, social studies, and math. You got to take a PE as a freshman. That's everybody's got to get through that one. Uh, and then and then we take our NAF specific health science course and then we move on from there. Coach, so, can, I, can I add something to that? Sure. Yeah, just to kind of piggyback on what what Mr. Machado said there, I really do think that the academy, um, it, it gives our students the best of both worlds because they do have that cohort component of it. And like I mentioned earlier, the camaraderie and like Mr. Machado mentioned as well. But at the same time, it's not just about the academy. You know, we want we want your students to experience the whole high school experience, you know, and, and part of that is getting out and meeting other students and doing other things and getting to experience that diversity um, within their classes. So again, I just think it's the best of both worlds because you always have that support system. You have that core academy, whether it's the one class as a freshman and the two moving forward, but you also get that whole experience that all of our students deserve at high school. Right. Fantastic. Well said. So it's about being a Trojan, right? Not just being an academy, but being an actual Trojan. So what that means. But a couple of things. Any other questions? Because I got a couple of things I can add. Transportation has come yeah. up several times. It's on my list. It always is, right? So um, STEM uh, at Northwest Cabarrus will have transportation, it's hub stops and stuff like that. The Academy of Health Sciences will not. So um, most of our career academies through CTE aren't supported yet from a county level as far as transportation goes. So if you are out of zone, if you're an in zone kid, then it's it's common. It's you know, your bus is going to stop and get you anyway. But if you're an out of zone student and want to join the Academy of Health Sciences at Northwest and you live in Robinson's district, for instance, then yes, your parent or guardian would have to bring you there in the morning and also pick you up at night. So transportation is not an option for the Academy of Health Sciences at the moment. That's a great question, though. Lots of questions about the career fields and specific career um, pathways that you see students come out of from this program. Um, well, I mean, for, for me, this is like I said, I, I am just transitioning into this. so I don't know a whole lot about the students that have already graduated. Um, this, uh, this academy has been uh, in place for six years, so those students are probably still in a, in a college at this point. They haven't probably gone all the way through the collegiate part and see what kind of job fields they went into. But, you know, we started as a biotech um, 
Academy and then they moved to a health sciences Academy. So the themes a little bit different too has kind of changed as well. I, I think the great thing about healthcare is this is going to give you a baseline of knowledge no matter what type of career that you may want to go into. Um, you know, we're not we're not specifically focused on um, you know, one particular field. We have folks that are really interested in nursing and a lot of our students go through the nursing fundamentals program and, and off into the college and, and get ready for that. So I, I don't really know a specific answer for that, to be quite honest with you. Um, I think if you're just interested at all, some of you may want to be a doctor, some of you may want to be nurses, some of you might want to work in a lab, some of you may want to do physical therapy. I think just being through this program and getting an understanding of anatomy and, and all the things that we talk about in health sciences and getting some hands-on experience, that will kind of help you make that decision. I mean, some of you probably know exactly what you want to do, and there are a lot of you in the room that don't. I mean, I'm 40 year old man, I still am not sure exactly what I want to do. So I think it'll change. That's why we're not specific to one career or one specific couple of careers. I think we just try to give you a best knowledge of what health sciences looks like and then give you as much hands on experience and different people. That's why we have guest speakers come in like I'm an anesthesiologist. Here's what this job entails. Here's what it looks like. Here's the schooling I had to go through. And then the next week you may have a different person come in and talk about their career. So it may be something you you weren't even familiar with until you went through our program and said, you know, that's the job I want to do. So I guess that's the best way I can answer that one. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll just chime in too, uh, Mr. Machado, um, and you hit the nail on the head there. You know, I, I believe, and this is just gone from memory, but our first graduating class now I believe our juniors in college. So we haven't been able to, to see what that data looks like as far as where our students ultimately end up. But that again, with the Academy of Health Sciences, what we are doing is we're, we're giving you the big picture with the hope and the intent that you will really start to gravitate towards a particular field in the health sciences that you really like and want to explore once you get onto that four year college or even two year as well. So don't want to limit that to the four, but really just present you with with a broad picture and then the student choice and what direction that you're going to be going there. If we would have geared it too much to one specific health science, we don't think we would be able to bring as many students on because it would really kind of pigeonhole us into a particular area. So we want to throw it all out there. Think of it as a huge canvas. We're throwing it all out there. And, and hopefully there's something that you all want to run with. Thank you. All right, anything else for questions? As far Lots as- Lots of questions here about veterinary science. Can you talk about animal science and CTE? And oh, um, no, I cannot. Uh, I know can I? Can I on her, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie, do you mind just answering this? Because Jackie's our CTE coordinator, so she's in charge of all CTE. Um, all the programs at Northwest Cabarrus, and I'm really just specific to the health sciences. So I'll let her answer that. Thanks, Jackie. Sure, no problem. Um, actually, we have an incredible equine science program and animal science program. Um, those those classes students typically take if they are interested in going towards um, the vet the vet veterinary programs in the future. However, our academy students, a lot of them pair their equine science and, and animal science classes with the academy classes, even though it's not part of their four year um, course plan. But being that we have that available at our school, a lot of students end up taking both because they enjoy it. And um, believe it or not, the anatomy and physiology that you learn in health sciences a lot of times goes along with what you might learn in the animal science classes also. So it's not part of the academy, but we certainly have those programs at Northwest and our students love to take those and sort of pair them up um, as electives that they can take because there's there'll be plenty of room in your schedule to take those electives. Uh, before you graduate. And, and not only, I'll just chime in, not only do we have those programs, but we actually have barns and animals and pigs and boars and and horses. And it's just like mind blown the first time I arrived at Northwest back in 2016. So um, it's it's awesome. Awesome. So hopefully that answered that one. Uh, got any other questions on the chat? Can you talk about the application process? Yeah, so um, like I said on the PowerPoint, the application opens up October the 6th and runs through December 18th. Uh, all of the applications run through the program choice. So under Cabarrus County Schools, if you just go to their website and click on program choice, you'll see some links for that. 
Um, we are right now we're capped at 75 students that would be able to join for the rising ninth graders. So the, the process happens. Everybody will you can go in there and you can apply for multiple academies. So if you wanted to join the Academy of Concord or Robinson or wherever, you can apply for as many as you want. And then those seats will be offered as um, in some kind of form. So the first thing would be criteria would probably be in zone, right? If you have siblings in the program, there's a couple things and it's all outlined on the program choice. But once your application has been accepted and they offer you a seat, then you have to accept that seat. So we do do waiting lists. So if you're not one of those first 75, a lot of students aren't, but they still get in because if I got in, if I applied for STEM, but also Academy and I got into both, I have to make that choice. I can't do both, um, so I have to make that. So that seat could open up, but the process happens like that. So you, there's some questions they ask. You have to create an account. Um, and that opens up October 6th. Uh, so you can do that at any time. I would obviously recommend you go to each of the high school's uh, open houses so you can hear more information and really just get some good content before you make your choice on where you want to go to school. I know this is tough. We're, we're all eighth graders right here talking about what we want to do for the next four years. I think Northwest Cabarrus is a, a great school regardless of what we do. Uh, I'm a CTE guy for the county. I work at multiple schools like I told you. So in, in my in my opinion, guys, you know, being a part of these career academies are going to be great on a lot of different things. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do. So if you're into health sciences or you think you might want to go into that field, this is probably going to be the best fit for you. But we have great academies across the board. Uh, every high school has one now. So um, please, I encourage you to go out there and take a look at some of those. Uh, watch the videos of what people have to offer. Go to as many of those open houses as you can. Check them all out at career day or program choice day. Oh, but that's really great. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about STEM and health sciences? We've gotten asked a couple of times about how they interact and can I do both? Uh, I'll let Mr. Myers answer that one, I think, from from a principal standpoint. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Coach. No, as far as STEM and the academy, they are separate academies. So we have two, but they do not interact. Um, and, and STEM is very specifically cohorted with all of their classes, whereas the academy is not one class freshman year and two classes each additional year. So um, the only interaction that they would actually have a crossover would just be person to person interactions uh, that our students have, you know, um, in the school day. Um, but no, you have to choose one or the other when it comes to that. Thank you. All right. Sorry, there are many, many questions in oh, the I chat bet. and we're trying to get to all of them. Yeah, um, we have about three minutes left application requirements and and um are there any criteria for the program uh not for our academy of health sciences obviously when you when you sign in you will have to kind of a criteria as far as making sure your attendance is up to date make sure your grades are where they are uh just like any school or any student that comes to our school the same expectations and criteria are the same but there, you don't have to have math one or have a B average or any that sort of stuff for the any of our career academies uh, those are open to all so uh, I encourage you if you're interested then to apply obviously uh, once you get in now we'll have to sit down if you're struggling academically or you're always in trouble then you and I um, and your parent will probably have a conversation about what does this look like how can we either get you up back on track or how can we figure out a way that we probably need to part ways um, and let me just answer that question as we go through. We don't want people to leave our program once they get into it, but you're also not required to stay in it. Um, so what what will happen is you and I will have a meeting a couple times about, OK, what is it that you don't like? What isn't vibing? What do you don't like about the academy? Is there something that we can change from our standpoint to help you feel more comfortable? Or is it really like this is just not for me? Health sciences isn't in the field I want to get into and move away. So the exiting of programs is an option. It's a last resort option. We never want to exit anybody out of our program. We would love to have you all for four years, graduate you and you'd be Trojans. But at the end of the day, we also can't uh, have you in a class if it's not something that's a good fit for you and for us. So um, there is an opportunity to exit. We don't like to do that. Uh, the, the one thing I would say the caveat to that is if you are out of zone, and you exit the program or we exit you, then you would have to go back to your home school. So it's really important for out of zone kids to make that decision and really understand what that means. 
All right. Um, still lots of questions here. I am going to bop to the next session. Ms. Ferrer, would you be able to read some of these questions to Mr. Machado for us? Sure thing. Um, OK. Is the academy built for higher level medical careers, for example, a surgeon? Uh, well, obviously, we're not going to do a whole lot of surgeries in the academy over the four years. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think in the sense Anybody that wants to go in that, I mean, you're not going to be a surgeon without going to medical school anyway. So this is going to give you a good baseline um, of knowledge to get you into a pre-med school, right? So let's, for instance, you want to go to Carolina for pre-med and then med school somewhere else. Um, this is going to set you up to have a good base of knowledge about health sciences and anatomy and all the things you might need to be a surgeon, but we're not going to do surgery. We're not going to you know, do a lot of those things. Now, you may have a lab in biology or something where you open a pig or any of those sort of things like all students do, but we don't have anything specific that would be for a surgeon or for something else. So that we save that for the collegiate level. Uh, those professors are, you know, a little bit more geared and ready towards those types of careers. We're really like this is a surface. This is an understanding. Do I even want to do this? We can always kind of talk as far as a mentorship goes. So if you really are interested in being a surgeon, we can try to find a surgeon in you know one of our partnership uh, with um, Novon or uh, Carolina's Health or whoever and try to get them to at least talk to you about what does it look like to be a surgeon? What does it take? What's that toll on my family? How much schooling do I have to have? So we can have some open conversations about it, but as far as curriculum goes, there would be nothing that would be directly tied to that. Um, OK, maybe we'll answer one more question because uh, we're coming to the end of our time. Um, we have a question if we want to attend the open house. This is a great question. Um, how do you do that? Yeah, so the same place. So the program choice site is basically your one stop shop for everything. So I would I would go to that once they have created those links, they'll be up there. So the I, well, first of all, I guess I need to. Well, I can't really ask you, but if you're talking about the program choice open house, then that's going to be on the program choice page. That happens October the 6th. If you're talking about the Northwest Cabarrus uh, open house, that will be November the, uh, excuse me, not November 4th, that'd be October 28th. That has STEM from five to six and Academy from six to seven. That'll be posted on the Northwest Cabarrus homepage. So it'll be on our homepage. I'll also put it on the NAF page that I showed you earlier. So there'll be a couple different places you can see that, but it'll be a live Teams event. So you'll be able to come in and ask questions. I'll be able to see you face to face and all that good stuff. So it'll be a little bit different format than this, but that's October 28th. All those links will be active probably a couple days before um, the event and, and those will be on Northwest homepage. Hopefully that answered your question. All right, guys, well, we are over and we don't want to keep people. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other great sessions. I just want to say thank you. I'm so excited to have the, the next class of Trojans come through here. Uh, again, we're kind of coming in together. So you and you and me kind of share something a little bit special because this will be my first full class. We have freshmen now, but we still haven't got to see them. Uh, but you guys are really be my first recruited class to come in through Northwest. So I'm excited to work with you. Like I said, we're a distinguished academy. There's only about 10% of all the academies in the in the country through NAF that get that that model distinguished. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you're coming to a really great opportunity, great school, great leadership, great teachers. Uh, so I just encourage you if you want more, please go to the program choice on the 6th and also stop by our open house on the 28th. Thank you all for your time and, uh, and choosing to spend it with us today. And